Wow, Lucy, looking at these beautiful flowers makes me want to draw and paint them. Did you know that when we draw and paint objects, that's called a still life? Today, I'm going to show you an example of how to create a flower still life. When we create a still life, everyone's piece will turn out differently. Some artists may pay more attention to certain shapes and colors. And so all of our art pieces will turn out differently, which is the really neat thing about doing still lifes. It depends on the angle that you're viewing the object. Artists have done still lifes for hundreds of years. Here are some examples of the most famous flower still lifes ever completed. still life of flowers with a watercolor sheet of paper, a cup with some water, a black crayon, a paintbrush, and Crayola watercolor pencils. And wherever you are looking at the flowers from, we're all going to have different angles of the flower you can include as much or as little detail as you want in your still life. If you want to include all of the flowers you can, if you just want to include a few of them, that's okay too. You cannot see in the camera by I'm actually looking at a vase of flowers as I am about to start my drawing. The very first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to turn around, my paper around, I'm going to write my name on the back. And now looking at my flowers, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the vase. So I'm just drawing what I'm seeing in front of me. I'm just trying my best. First name in the bottom corner. And now I am done with my still life of flowers.